Yo, Elliot. Our buddy Brian is asking some questions about uh, what neck exercises I would recommend. The very first thing is, guys, I've got almost a thousand videos on the channel, right? Like 800, perhaps. Search my channel before you send these questions. Look, honestly, there are over 10,000 questions in here. You see that? I'd like to get to the ones that, uh, that people, that, that are new. Do some research, just a little bit, before you ask me a question. I've answered this question before. The reason why I'm answering it again is because the old, the old video is very comprehensive. I'm just gonna direct you to that, right? It'll be annotated up here somewhere. And then just give you a brief idea of what you need to consider when it comes, when it comes to neck exercises because everybody gets this wrong. Everybody thinks of their neck and they consider mainly the sternocleidomastoid, this muscle here, right? Can you see it? Boom, this big muscle that thickens your neck out this way and the exercise that most people do in order to build the thickness of their, of their neck looks like this. Right, so you've got your subscapularis, you've got little muscles that help extend the cervical spine and then you've got the sternocleidomastoid. Both of which, when they become tight, foster this type of posture, right? Now, do you want a big, thick, strong neck that looks like this? There are a lot of guys, go to the gym today, right? A lot of you, I, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you guys on this channel, I know you guys are young, right? So your muscles aren't that fucked up yet, you're asking me questions, so you don't end up looking like some of those retarded meatheads at your gym? Go to Gold's Gym today and look at the guys with the biggest muscles that look like this. That is, that's not structural integrity. That's looking like a fucking moron. I don't care how big your muscles are. If they're in the wrong place and they're overdeveloped in a dysfunctional fashion, you look like an idiot, right? Big muscles in the wrong places look like shit. And not only do they look like shit, the reason why they look like shit is because your integrity is off. Your posture is off. There's nothing sexy about having big muscles in the wrong places and a body that's thrown off out of balance. Your shoulders are gonna hurt you, your jaw's gonna hurt you, you're gonna have headaches, you're gonna be all fucked up if you build up those typical neck muscles that people build up, sternocleidomastoid and the cervical extensors. What you wanna do, and this is something that you can use with all of your exercises that require neck flexion, right? Crunches, deadlifts, notice how I deadlift. Watch my deadlift videos and, and my front squat videos. My head never looks like this, ever. Even when I'm doing bent over rows. Go search my channel, folks. Never do you see this. I'm always working on deep cervical flexion. I'm always working on developing the, what you would call the strap muscles, infer and omohyoid muscles, deep in here. And I do that by keeping the tongue on the roof of my mouth and tucking my chin. If, if you watch some of my deadlift tutorial videos where I'm teaching other people how to deadlift, I've always got a stick on their back. And it's because the tendency is to move into those tonic, the tonic musculature that causes cervical extension. And what I want is cervical flexion. So, when I teach someone how to deadlift and, they, and I put this stick on their back, it's because I want them to maintain, look at me, tension in these muscles, the deep cervical flexors, right? That's how you build a well-balanced, strong, structural, integrity neck. It's by being very mindful of not ignoring the strap muscles in, in favor of the ones on the sides and the ones on the back. Two key points, tuck your chin, put the tongue on the roof of your mouth. The tongue on the roof of your mouth is important because you're, this is all continuous, continuous muscle. And then it ends right here, right? your jaw. The tongue is the muscle that connects, right? There's so much really cool shit that could be described and talked about with regard to closing this circuit. I mean, deep, energetic, awesome stuff, but I'm gonna save you that here. Tongue in the roof of the mouth is very critical for closing the muscular circul uh, circulation. And it it's tied in by activating the deep cervical flexors or extensors. I'm getting all fucked up now. But your strap muscles that force good posture.
So that's it, my friends. I hope that helps. Watch my other video that has all exercises and shit that you can do to correct, stretch, and fix your fucked up neck. Good luck. Yo, Elliot.